Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss how you can test your web API with the help of Postman, right? So uh, ideally what happened like when you are building your APIs or when you are creating your own solution, there is a, a like provision of testing your APIs or solution, right? So in our case, when we created the API, we had been uh, provided with the swagger to test our APIs, right? So, so first let me run this app, okay, run this API. So obviously it is going to load one page with the swagger. So I can test my API with the help of Swagger here. That is fine. That all we have seen in the previous video. Okay. So if you have not seen the previous video where I have created the API from scratch, just click on the I button and uh, you will have this video. Okay. So uh, now see if I want to test this API using Swagger, what I have to do simply is I need to click on this try it out and execute. And this is going to give me the list of employees. Okay. So this is the response for this API. Okay. Now, uh, if someone asks you to test all these APIs, with the help of Postman app, right? So how you can do it? So there are two provisions of testing using Postman. So the first thing is uh, you can directly test it on web. Uh, so there is a web URL for Postman. And other is uh, you can download the Postman app uh, on your laptop and desktop and you can test it from there. Okay, so I do have a Postman app on my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to test all these APIs using this Postman. Okay, so this is the interface of this Postman. Okay, so collection APIs, environment, mock server, monitor, flows and history. So history will have all the URL requests uh, that you are making. Okay, so now let's make our first request in the Postman. So click on the new and then select this HTTP request. Okay. So these are the verbs. So if you are making get request, you need to select get from this drop down. If you are making post request, you need to select the post from this drop down. Okay. And then you have to enter the request URL. So request URL is nothing but uh, combination of server, API controller and the method. Okay. So let's take the URL from this swagger. Okay. So this is our URL request URL. Okay. Let's go to the postman and paste it here simply. So for this method, we do not have any parameters. We are simply getting the list from the database. Okay. So you need to click on the send. So it is going to give you the response with all the employees. Okay. Now, if someone asks you to test the method having some parameters, so let's say we are supplying some employee ID to the database and I want to get the specific record. Okay. In that case, you have to supply the key and value. So you have to supply the parameter. Okay. So let's take what are the method I have for that. So let's take the help of Swagger. So here what I can do. So this is the method we have for the Swagger. So get employee by ID. Okay. So everything is same except this method. Okay. So let's go there and change this method. So it's get employee by ID. Okay. And then you have to supply the parameter also. So what is the parameter we have? So I'm simply supplying the ID, right? And then value. So let's say I want to get the value for I want to get the employee having record four. So I will be supplying employee ideas for and then I will be making the request. So this is the response you are getting having employee ID four. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's test the post uh, API. So we want to make some entry into the database. We want to add some employee. Okay. So what are the method we have created in our API? So we can verify from this one. So this is the uh, method. So everything is same except this add employee. Okay. So guys, if you see this request URL right in the post pan, it is simply the server name. Okay. Slash API slash controller name slash method name. Okay. So let's test our post API. So what is the method name? So we have add employee. Okay. And then you have to select post here. And then one more thing you need to do is you need to supply the body here. Okay, so let's go to the body. Now let's click on this raw and you need to supply this parameter or the body in case in form of JSON. Okay, so let's select JSON and then we need to supply the same parameter, right? So let's verify from this swagger. What are the thing we need to supply? So if you see this. So this is the body we need to supply. Okay. So in employee ID field, we don't need to supply anything because this is identity column. You can keep it as zero also. So in name, let me uh, give it as a different one. Sarat CT, I can give it as Kanpur. Okay. Tell you can change it to five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then uh, if you just click on the send. Okay. So as of now, we have just five record in the database. So it is going to create the database uh, record with employee ID six, and this is going to return you the response. Okay. Let's click on the send. So see, this is the response you are getting. So employee ID six name is Sarath. So that is all what we have inserted. Okay. 
Now, if you want to check again the database having all the list of employee, you no need to make the uh, request uh, by putting the value manually here. Okay, so you you do have all this history. Okay, so you can select the API from the history. So this is my API, right? Uh, I have selected from history. When I make the send request, it is going to return me the six uh, employee. Okay. So this is something we have created now. So it has returned you the response with list of six employee. Okay. So this is how guys we can test our API using Postman. Okay. So if you have any query, you can shoot out your query in the comment box. Uh, Milte next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.